Hey everybody, Riker Rider here, and welcome to the finale of normal mode of Let's Play Wario Land 4. We're gonna fight the final boss today, the Gold Diva. The Gold Diva's attack pattern is very complex. And you know what, since I have these medals, I'm just gonna go ahead and use them. And I'll be able to demonstrate one of the lesser items, at least. Uh, once we get into the higher difficulties, I'll explain all the weaknesses of every boss. So, once the Gold Diva appears, Visor Man is going to show up and do a little bit of damage to her. Now, unlike the previous bosses, you're going to need to finish this one with at least two minutes on the clock. Uh, if you want to keep all the treasures. Two points of damage. I'll take it. This boss is actually pretty creepy because her face changes every time you deal damage to her. Six minutes. That was bad. I'm supposed to jump onto the head that's floating around. And you actually have to do a supercharged throw in order to deal damage. And you'll need to do this quickly because even though six minutes seems like a lot of time, you really only have four in it. And it ticks away fast. Cool. She'll cycle through four different varieties of attacks. remember, I believe similar attacks were used by... This is the most annoying one. Nuts. Yeah, throwing the hammer at... Throwing the hammer at her does nothing. You're gonna have to get turned into a uh, spring by it and then jump up like that. It's pretty irritating. And then once you go through uh, one cycle of it, she'll just start cycling them however she likes, pretty much. Or is it two cycles? I guess it must be two. She can be a real pain to hit with some of the attacks. should actually be coming up on her last phase soon. Yeah, right here, once you get her down to 4 health, uh, she'll start creating spikes, and you will need to... Uh, you'll need to slam her face before you run out of platforms, otherwise you'll die. Oh, I missed a hit there, that's not good. Come down here. There we go. And the last hit's really simple. Just slam her lips out of the way. Yay! 100%! Now that the treasure has nowhere else to run away, we can claim all of it. And that black cat that followed us all the way here is pretty important, believe it or not. You'll see why. Perfection! Now 
Now, the size of Wario's backpack is determined by the number of treasures you get. Come on, get out of there before it collapses. That wasn't very nice. There we go, at least he made it out before it collapsed. With the treasure, of course. Oh, it looks like he's breathing pretty heavily. He probably should have brought something to, uh, to carve blocks out of that gold pyramid. Now these four treasures are going to be used to transform the cat back into her true form. Now this form that you get will be determined by the number of treasures you get. She'll transform into the true princess if you get 12. Uh, she's an ugly bitch if you get 0, and I think 1 to, th one to 3 and 4 to 11 have their own forms. But I only ever beat the game with either 10 or, or all of them. So, Wario doesn't get the four legendary treasures, but he does get the rest of the treasure of the Golden Pyramid for himself, which I'm sure he'll take. Now that the credits are rolling, I would like to take the time to review Wario Land 4. This game suffers from a lot of the same problems that Wario World does, but the, des the level design in Wario Land 4 uh, is a lot... It's just a lot better overall. And each level feels unique. The game isn't super short, but it's short, and... Because of the high quality designs of each level and each boss, when you beat it, it definitely has you wanting more. Which is part of the multiple difficulty setting, because it feels almost like playing a new game when you change the difficulty. Just because the levels will play almost completely differently. Uh, the gameplay engine is really solid, the controls are tight. And the hitboxes actually feel fair for a change. I don't think I had any problems with hit detection anywhere. So I'm definitely going to give the gameplay a 10 out of 10. Uh, the graphics are pretty good for a launch title. I mean, not, I mean, not perfect. They could be a little better, but the technology wasn't as great, and people hadn't figured out how to fully harness the GBA. I'm going to give the graphics uh, an 8.5. The music is pretty much top-notch. Even this, the 16 CDs you got were kind of experimental music. Uh, some of them I enjoyed, others were just like, what? But the regular music in this game, like the stage... The stages, each stage had its own theme, which was awesome. But especially the theme when you're when you are running back to the warp before it closes, that's a that song is just a work of art, and that pushes it over to the ten out of ten category. Uh, the three difficulties give this game nice replayability, as well as keeping track of the max number of coins you've gotten in each stage. Uh, goes a long way in keeping this game fun despite its short length. So I'm going to give Wario Land 4 a 9.5 out of 10. This is a fantastic game that needs to be on the 3DS Virtual Console, because it's a little bit hard to come by now.
I would definitely recommend checking this out, especially if you enjoyed the other three Wario Land games, because this one just completely blows it out of the water. In any case, I think I've rambled on enough about Wario Land 4. Once all three difficulties of this game are complete, I'm going to be starting the much-hyped and long-awaited Let's Play of Pokemon Coliseum. There aren't going to be any more bonus episodes after... Uh, after this, so... That'll be a wrap for Let's Play Wario Land 4. And that will be a wrap for the Summer of Wario. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll just let the rest of the ending play out. And I will see you guys next Let's Play. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs>